Now for the bonus section. So as I said before, both sections will be for sale as a standalone product. If you're only interested in the high-res asset creation, part one is for you. If you only want real-time solutions for your high-res source material, part two is the one you want. However, if you want them both bundled together, there's going to be a bonus section for you. This will be an extra hour and a half of content, which will go over in detail the creation of the reptile column prop seen here. We'll start with a few different posing options within ZBrush, such as Transpose Master for posing multiple subtools at a time, as well as an option for creating a single mesh with subdivision history for easy transpose and masking to get it into the position that you want. After that, we'll go into how the environment prop of the Nameless City Rune column was created from scratch, step by step, in real time. We'll discuss Z Modeler, Radial Symmetry, importing and utilizing custom alphas, array mess functionality, and a few techniques to add some serious wear. Finally, Louise Cruel is going to go over the 3D printing process for this object, from exporting the mesh out of ZBrush, using Autodesk's free program Mesh Mixer to clean up and add proper supports for the printing process, and finally going to MakerBot's free software to allow you not only to preview the print, but also find out how long it'll take the print, depending on the settings you choose, and even how much filament you're going to end up using. From here, you can send it to your own printer, or export everything to a file to hand off to someone else to use with their printer, with all the file support settings and options that you want. And last but not least, we're also going to talk about ZBrush render passes that we did for the marketing shot, as well as compositing all of that stuff in Photoshop. So, there is a lot of content here. 180 videos, almost 18 hours of instruction, and of course I tried wherever possible to give you as many different options as I could to make sure you're able to choose the tools and software that make the most sense for you, depending on your project or the process that you're working on.